The original Superman is so powerful that at one point he some way somehow linked together all of the planets within a single dying galaxy via a really long chain, proceeding to haul them across the universe to new stars. If this galaxy is anything like our own Milky Way, this would mean that Superman is hauling somewhere around 100 to 200 billion planets, maybe more, that going off the size, weight, and diameter of Earth would stretch on on for nearly 267 light years. It would also roughly weigh 1.3 to 2.6 undecillion pounds or 0.6 to 1.2 undecillion kilograms, being around the weight of 2 million of our suns. So not so surprisingly, in a move that would make Batman slap him, Superman once flew into the sun's core, withstanding temperatures that we now know are around 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, and pushed the sun towards the Earth, which at the very least, if the Earth was come to say 5% or 5 million miles, being 8 million kilometers closer to the Sun, Superman could easily melt every single glacier, raising sea levels and flooding most of the planet. And as he creeps up the Sun to being say around 10% closer or more, surface temperatures would increase and the composition of the atmosphere would change and most life would cease to exist. Not to mention the havoc he would be causing to the orbits of the other planets. Superman also redirected a comet with the mass of the Earth moving at something near the cosmic speed limit, being 300,000 kilometers or 186,000 miles per second, swatting it away, which he then did again with an actual bigger runaway planet, this time catching it. And later, to defeat a giant cactus monster, Superman decided to use his strength to make an artificial lunar eclipse because he didn't want to touch the thing. Even more amazingly, Superman is fairly used to pushing the Earth at itself and rather quickly, as he is known to push the Earth anywhere from a few hundred miles or kilometers to millions and back just to evade an orbital laser, he has repeatedly slammed his body against the Earth, causing the entire planet to shake, being equivalent to something like the force of 42 trillion nuclear bombs going off, which also just stopped the Earth in its orbit. On his days off, Superman has stopped erupting volcanoes by cutting mountains in half and slamming the volcano shut. He has used his strength to exert planet core-like pressures to reforge concrete and steel dams, while then using his body as a massive plow to create new rivers. With his super pressure, we see Superman commonly crush what would have to actually be pure graphite into diamonds, exerting something around 5 million newtons, being 1 million pounds, or 450,000 kilograms of force. And while the increase in pressure would heat up the graphite some, Superman would really have to use his heat vision as well to get the graphite up to the needed 1000 degrees Celsius or 1800 degrees Fahrenheit to create diamonds. We even see Superman use this power to the extreme. As to save a ship from crashing into an iceberg, Superman decided to fly into space and finding an iron meteorite, that typically being 70 to 95% iron, Superman used his hands to crush and string the meteorite into something like a 12 inch thick lab that he threw from outer space, grabbing a large iceberg that weighing something like 440 million pounds or 200 million kilograms that he hoisted out of the water and then flew across the world, providing some much needed water to some dying farms. This pre-crisis Superman also liked to perform super stunts for the Daily Planet. As to celebrate the anniversary of his crash landing in Smallville, he decided to lift all 10 million kilograms or 22 million pounds pounds of the Eiffel Tower, balancing it on his finger, with him quickly returning to redo the stunt, this time balancing it by its frickin' tip in the middle of a street. When it comes to OG Superman's striking power, with his super fist, he has punched a battleship so hard that the entire ship disintegrated into a mass of fine microscopic dust, where Superman's fist, in order to practically vaporize the old US battleship, weighing something like 99 million pounds or 44 million kilograms would be applying something in the order of zeta joules to even hitting a yota joules amount of energy. Energy which is getting closer to but still a bit under the amount of energy a star like our sun outputs in a second. Yet we see Superman drive a sword into a stone where he was said to punch the blade with so much force that the blade will continue to vibrate for literal centuries where it easily cuts through anything it touches. In this 
instance, the term time period refers to the time it takes a vibrating object to complete one cycle, and dampening refers to how quickly it slows down. Normally an object like this, no matter how fast its time periods are, it would eventually dampen or slow down in a matter of seconds if it has no further force or energy applied to it, meaning that Superman would be punching this super sword with so much force as to render it as not only the most insane blur anyone would ever see in their life, but he is literally defying all physics. A physics defying Superman who when he's not smashing meteors together to form a new planet, throwing amusement parks into space where they orbit the moon, he is instead throwing Jimmy Olsen so fast that we then see Jimmy time travel something like 20 years into the future, where thanks to our now near the speed of light Jimmy Olsen, who is experiencing some pretty serious time dilation, if we were in Jimmy's position, we would see time pass more slowly as we sat by and watched a significant amount of time pass for everything else on Earth. In one of his deadliest attacks, Superman had to fly from Earth to a dead universe in seconds, where he released a super sneeze, absolutely obliterating an entire solar system with energy akin to something like a supernova going off. But not before throwing a neutron star weighing apparently trillions of tons, billions of light years away with a simple flick of his wrist. When it comes to his speed, this Superman has easily broken physics again, moving faster than the speed of light. Whether that's him flying trillions of miles in a few seconds, or frequently flying around the Earth at 10 times the speed of light. And in his fastest feat ever, Superman shattered through the barriers of space and time, reaching something that we can just call infinite speed. Because why not? Reaching far away realities, all just to catch an unconscious Supergirl who somehow was knocked out traveling that fast. This Superman is so durable that the only thing that could possibly pierce his skin in the universe is himself, as he once did using his own fingernail to make a rather questionable blood transfusion. This means that when being hit with forces equal to that of the Big Bang, that for a moment heated the universe up to 1000 trillion degrees Celsius with a power that is 10 to the power of 54 megatons, or otherwise what is 10 septon decillion megatons, he was fine. Beyond his strength, Superman senses his vision is amazingly good. So good that he can not only use his x-ray vision to see through three planets at once to find his teammates, or somehow see around the curvature of the Earth to events happening on the other side of the world, but Superman can easily see events like a black hole collision happening on the other side side of the Milky Way galaxy, seeing a distance of something like 100,000 light years. But this feat is rather small, seeing how flying around space, Superman used his vision to see several billion light years ahead of him, just so he wouldn't get lost. With his super hearing, he can hear earthquakes happening in Italy, the footsteps of a nearby ant, and Batman calling out for him across the galaxy. With his heat vision, Superman casually melts planets, causes stars to go supernova, his super breath allows him to literally inflate cannonballs to become balloons, freeze anything to sub-zero temperatures, inhale poison gas, and any surrounding oxygen in the environment so fast as to cause others to suffocate, and he can use it to play the piano. His voice is so powerful that Superman can speak so loud to be heard by everyone at once in Metropolis, making his voice powerful enough to shatter every glass window in the city and even structures, which he does with a giant iceberg. Strangely, Superman also possesses super ventriloquism, allowing him to mimic any voice, and he can make it sound like he's standing right in front of you, when in fact he's miles away making a sword talk. But still, one of the greatest powers this Superman possesses is he can literally learn anything instantly, like brain surgery, as he pours through hundreds of books and years of study and practice in seconds, and Superman could even cure blindness with a simple touch. But as powerful as Superman is, he still has his own weaknesses. Just like me deciding which absurd feats to include, and which ones would just be adding more twigs to the bonfire, Superman has to avoid magic at all costs. Red solar radiation reduces him to a normal man, red kryptonite will change him into a random creature like a lion, gold kryptonite takes away his powers permanently, and there exists a virus that can specifically kill Kryptonians. But if none of this was very interesting.
interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. Superman once had to hire Batman to play the role of Clark Kent just to keep his identity a secret, which Batman may have taken too far. But still, a favor which Superman many years later returned as he wrecked all of Batman's villains. With us going over Batman's absurd strength and feats in this video, see you in the next one.